Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to schematic backdrops in Modo. When working in the schematic view, backdrop nodes can be used to help organize networks by grouping a collection of nodes. To create a backdrop, start by selecting the nodes you'd like to place in a backdrop, right-click and choose Create Backdrop. You can also create backdrops by selecting nodes and using the keyboard shortcut B. Backdrops can be customized by changing their name and editing their color. Using different colors can make it easier to locate a specific portion of your network. You can also collapse and expand backdrops to visually clean up the schematic viewport. If you move a backdrop, all nodes associated with it will move as well, and they're dynamic, so if you move nodes within a backdrop, it'll resize to fit the layout. You can quickly add and remove nodes using the Add and Remove options from the right-click menu, or by holding down the Shift key and clicking and dragging the nodes in and out of the backdrop. Backdrops also support backdrops inside of backdrops, giving you the ability to organize nodes within an existing backdrop. To quickly navigate a complex network and to focus on a specific backdrop, you can use the Select Backdrop menu. To remove a backdrop, simply select it and press the Delete key. Use these powerful backdrops to group and organize the nodes that make up your schematic network. Oh, look at the time.